Hi, it's Wick and Helen from Camino Provisions. We're in Rances Valles, Spain. We've walked over the Pyrenees Mountains from France, and we're going to give a recap of the last two days, so stay tuned. Here we are in so Saint Jean Peterpour. Getting ready to walk the Camino. We'll start walking tomorrow. When you arrive in Santiago, you will go to the pilgrim office. Present your pilgrim passport and lay the standards. And this We were thinking it might be helpful to give you a recap of our uh, walk over the Pyrenees the past couple days. Um, something, one of the questions that we get sometimes is, well, why do people walk over the Pyrenees? Why don't they start in Roncesvalles or even Pamplona? Um, and those are traditional starting points on the Camino Francais, as well as saint jean pied port and even farther into France near Paris and onward. But the answer to that question is, for us, this was our fourth uh, trip over the Pyrenees, and it's just a very unique and beautiful um, part of the uh, journey. And for us, it's just uh, been something that we look forward to each time. On this trip for us, we realized we needed to find a way to break up the day which some people walk from Saint-Jean all the way to Roncesvalles in one day. It's very strenuous and we have done that two times. And we have also made the trip where we walked up to Orison, which uh, it is not very far, but it is a very steep climb out of Saint-Jean. Yes. We have stayed at the Refugio there, which has beds like an albergue um, but it was full this time so we couldn't break it up that way so we found out and made arrangements mm -hmm. to break up the trip by having a, arranging for a taxi to meet us about eight miles up at the statue of Mary which is uh, a beautiful vista and a, a sacred place to many people and so the taxi picked us up there at a pre-arranged time and took us back to Saint Jean to spend the night and then in the morning it, the taxi picked us up and we went back to the to that point to finish the walk into Rosas Bay so we want you to know that there are arrangements you can make to walk parts of this section. If, yes. if it's important to you to have an experience of the Pyrenees and the amazing beauty that is there, don't give up <laughs> that, no. that dream because you can make arrangements for that. Here we go. <sighs> Yay. We made it to Orasan. This is where we stop for some refreshment. Yay! Okay. Hey, we made it to Orasan. Yay! Yay! Oh. It is challenging, about a 3,000 foot ascent from Saint Jean. In, in, in about five in, miles. In about five miles, so it feels like a lot longer walk than five miles. Yes. But and we, we made it, and it was a gorgeous morning. Uh, it's, a, it's a gorgeous day here. We'll show you outside. Yes. We'll show pictures instead of us looking like this. <laughs> we'll show pictures of, of the scenery as we're describing it, but it was a very steep ascent. Um, for most of the time, we were on... Uh, asphalt paved road and then it we went off onto rocky terrain for a while but some of the most gorgeous gorgeous scenery landscape scenery of farms and valleys and lush green mountains um, on our way up to Orison. Orison is a refugio um, 
it's run by a French family. And if you come here, the food is delicious. It's a great stop on your way. If you go continue on, it's a great stop. Food, um, so you don't have to carry food in your pack out of Saint Jean. And um, we can recommend the vegetable soup. <laughs> Highly Just recommend fabulous. the vegetable soup. Um, and yeah, so it, it's a it's an exciting day for us to be walking the Pyrenees. This is our fourth trip over the Pyrenees, and we're so excited. We wanted to mention something that we hear over and over again in the 15 years since we've been involved with the Camino uh, and experienced this ourselves in 2007 uh, I ended up having to stop my Camino before I got to Santiago because of an overuse injury in my foot from trying to do more than I was able to do and so we want to mention that you can go at your pace and do what you can do and if you have a schedule to, to keep there are ways for you to catch up to whatever that schedule is yes. not everyone has the luxury that we do this time of blocking out two months for a slow Camino. <laughs> and so we, we just want you to know, don't push yourself physically to the point that you have an overuse injury early on and have to, to give up and, and not finish what you set out to do. Yes. Rather, take your time at places like this first section over the Pyrenees, which is so physically tough. Take take your time there and if you have to have a recovery day after that or have to catch a bus to uh, a point farther down the, the way to maintain your schedule that would be preferable than having yes. to give up the <laughs> entire dream you have of, of walking the Camino. Trying to smile. <laughs> Uh, 
yesterday as we were walking the second, our, what for us was the second half of our Pyrenees crossing um, from the Statue of the Virgin Mary to, into Roses Valles, uh, we had the extra challenge of at what it was a gusting wind at times to about 50 miles an hour where it would almost blow you off your feet. <laughs> And, a headwind. And it was a headwind, not a backwind, so <laughs> that made it much harder. <laughs> yeah, in fact, when we when we arrived in our <laughs> in our room, we Wick said, I had a I had my hat on, my brimmed hat on. I don't understand how I I got a sunburned forehead. Well, this is why. So windy today. <laughs> and and so because of the the past two days being physically challenging for the two of us. Today we're taking what we just kind of call a semi-rest day. We're only going from Roncesvalles to Espinal, which is, uh, I don't know, four miles or so, four and a half miles. And so it keeps us moving, gets everything loosened up again, but gives us some rest also. And then the next couple days after that, we'll get going at a little more challenging pace yeah. or longer pace. Yeah. And I wanted to do an update for those of you who have sent in your prayers and your prayer requests and your praises for us to carry to Santiago, carrying your prayers to Santiago 2022, mm -hmm. little project that we're doing as we walk, praying for all of you. We wanted you to know that we have been and will continue to pray. Yes. And we, we did spend quite a bit of time at the place, which is very sacred to a lot of people, there at the statue of the Virgin Mary holding the baby Jesus. And so we just want everyone to know that have asked for prayer that we continue to pray for you. And until our next update, we just want to say, Buen Camino. Camino.